Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Bolaline, and we are just about to see a very, very fascinating interview with actress, filmmaker, and artist, Laura Faye Lewis. She will be talking about her show business career and her latest project, her film, the film that she is acting in, Tango Shalom. Let's take a look at this fascinating actress. Welcome back, darlings. I'm TV host, entertainment journalist, Cognac Willow Lane, and I have a very special guest. She is an actress. She is multi-talented. She's an artist. She's a uh, she's, a, she's a filmmaker, she has done just about everything and anything in show business. And I want to introduce my very special guest, actress Laura Faye Lewis. Welcome to my pink kitchen behind me. As you see, we're doing it in my fabulous pink kitchen. As you know, my, I love the color pink. That's my favorite color. That's why I wore pink today. Yes, I see. I see that you wore my favorite. Actually, today I'm wearing turquoise. But before we get into the questions, I want to tell my audience a little bit about your background, about who you are and what you're all about before we get into the significant questions that I want everyone to hear. So uh, Laura Faye Lewis, artist, actor, and filmmaker. Multi-talented uh, actress Laura Faye Lewis comes to mind when you look at Laura Faye Lewis's impressive resume. She graduated from the Juilliard School Drama Division and is a founding member of the Tribeca Lab Theater, Indies Lab, and the New York Professional Ensemble Group, where she played in various leading and supporting roles in classic as, as well as modern plays. She's an award-winning nominated actress, published poet, and filmmaker. Laura Fay has directed and starred in music videos, been there, and watched the Rush Superstar for her band, The Bliss Stones, and was nominated for Best Actress and Best Short Film in the Picture Start Film Festival. In films and TV, she has played an Appalachian woman, a serial killer, a high school principal counseling bullied teens, a grifter, a Hasidic mother, and a homeless woman, just to name a few. Her documentary film, The Empty, uh, Hands of Painter, features an in-depth interview with Warhol, Era Painter, and Rocketeer, Tony Masico. Did I say his name correctly, Masico? Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I, Masaccio. Masaccio. Tony Masaccio, right. who died in 2012 of pancreatic cancer. A section of her documentary was licensed from Laura Faye by the German TV company 3B Productions and used for their comprehensive four-part series called Art and Crime. This documentary film was recently screened at the Golden Door International Film Festival in Jersey City. New Jersey inspired by her real life friendship and adventures with Tony Pasicchio. Did I say it right? <laughs> I didn't say it right. But it's anyway, okay. It's okay. I'm Italian, but sometimes I have problems with Italian names. I still have right. problems with Italian names. Now, I want to ask you, tell my audience, with all of that said about your fabulous history in show business, tell my audience what inspired you to become an actress. Well, um, my high school drama teacher, David Feldman, one day he came into class and he said, you want to act? Watch this. And up on the screen, we were lucky enough to have older movies playing um, when he was showing us about good actors and good acting. And we watched movies like East of Eden with James Dean and Julie Harris, 
directed wow. by Ilya Kazan, one of my favorite directors. And we would see um, On the Waterfront with Marlon Brando and Carl Malden and Eva Marie Saint. Gorgeous yeah. actress. Yeah, so I mean, I, I got all this wonderful inspiration from seeing these actors and then also him telling us about Boleslavsky and Stanislavsky. I mean, now, in what class was this? What, uh, what this did was, you? This was in high school. At, at Coral Gables Senior High School okay, in Florida. So you hadn't even gone, you, so that is what really inspired you to become an actor because you saw these fabulous films and you said, this is amazing, I want to, I want to do this for a living. Yes, yes. Interesting, interesting that a high school teacher could profoundly inspire you that way. Now, he, was, he was great. So now let me ask you, as an actor, uh, actors will always tell you different stories about different things, but you, of course, went through a long journey of becoming an actor, actress. What was your biggest challenge in becoming an entertainer and actor? I would say um, just getting, getting through all the the, the rejection and the, the fear of being rejected and just showing up, suiting up and, and doing, doing the best possible audition I could for, for the role. So it's always that fear of rejection that I think probably scares everybody. But mm -hmm. you know, you have to go on the audition. That's the only way you're gonna get the part. Unless of course, you know the filmmaker and he's your friend and you don't have to go through an audition process. Did you ever have that? Did you ever have that happen to you? Well, you still have to, even if you have friends in the business, you still have to uh, go through the audition process because they want to make sure that, that you're the right fit, whether you're friends, whether you're not friends. Uh, the thing I love about these self tapes now is that you don't actually, even though I love to be around people, you don't actually have to show up. You just do a Zoom audition and then uh, record it and then put it up for the casting director or the. Isn't that fabulous. Or, yeah, and so you could be pretty comfortable in your own home, and you, you're probably a little bit more relaxed, apt to, apt to do a good job, you know. Yes. Yes. Now you know. It, that's very interesting, but because I interviewed uh, many years ago, I interviewed Carolyn Gorney, who was in that movie Saturday Night Fever. Of now, a lot, a lot of people don't know this, but she was a lot older than John Travolta. She was like a good 10 years older than him. That's and right. They actually picked her because she could dance. Yes. She was a dancer. And they also picked her because. She was pretty, but she was not prettier than him. In other words, they wanted, when you watched the movie, they wanted you to look at him, not her. She, he had to be the focus. He had to be the star, not yeah. her. So, I mean, and I asked her, I said, how many auditions did you go through before you actually got the part? And she said, many, many, many auditions. It was like, I don't know, like 15 auditions. It was ridiculous. Sure. Like a lot of different auditions. But she finally did get the part and it was based on her appearance. Right. And the fact that she really was a dancer because that's what they really wanted. They wanted the dancer, you know? Yeah. And you so, know, with Tango, with Tango Shalom, this recent film that I, I, I'm in, um, initially, Joe Bologna and Claudio and Jose, the writer, Chislaniato, the writers of the film, they had me playing a yogini, a yoga instructor. And then they, they got rid of that part, not because of me, just because of the way the script was going. And they decided that I should play the, uh, the Hasidic wife of one of the main character's best friends. So I did that. So you never know how it's going to go. Gonna, we're going to get more into that later about this film that you, uh, that this is your the main stream, this is your main project now, what's going on with you. We're going to get into that later, but I want to ask you a few more questions before we get into that movie. Um, so now I also wanted to ask you, 
You are a woman of many artistic talents. Out of all your talents, which one is your favorite? Um, the one that brings me the, the, the best uh, money job. <laughs> you know, I go where the, the money is um, right. now. But isn't, it's there important. One, isn't there one thing that you do that brings you the most joy? I would say acting and singing and painting, those three things, definitely. Those three things in that order. Acting. You know, I, I, I tell you, I, I do one job at a time, whether I'm painting on a canvas and trying to sell it to a gallery you or- are, Yeah, you really diversify. You have, you, are you a Gemini? What, what's, what's your astrological <laughs> stuff? I, I'm, not, I'm not a Gemini, but I'm actually a twin in real life. Oh, that's outrageous. Yeah. Is your twin, does she look just like you? No, you? I mean, we look like sisters, but not like twins because we're fraternal. Oh, I mean, yeah. We don't look identical. And we're completely opposite personalities. <laughs> That is so amazing. What is your astrological sign? Um, I think it's Cancer. Uh, yeah, because I just had a birthday yesterday. I just had a birthday in June, June seventh. I'm a Gemini. That's what I am. Yeah. So because Gemini's tend to wear a lot of hats. Yes. And you, you do that. You wear a lot of hats. <laughs> um, now, what? As a Hollywood actor, was there? a particular actor that influenced or inspired you to become an actress? Was there one special actress, maybe a male actor too, I don't know. Was there anyone specific that you loved them the most? I would have to say, uh, I have to name a couple of actors, uh, James Dean and Al Pacino. Really? Well, I never met James Dean because he died probably when I was a little kid, but I did interview Al Pacino. And, and I, I, I've, met, I've met Al too over the years through the Actors Studio and he actually came to see me in a play and loved my work. So that was a great boost for me. He's a, he is a wonderful actor. He really is. He's so talented. He's so talented. I'll never on stage, on film. Everywhere, I mean, he, everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I loved him in that movie. Everybody loves, you know, Scarface or Godfather. Or, but right. I loved him in that movie, Carlito's Way. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Wasn't was he crazy. wonderful in that, that movie? Was, I, I, I like just about everything that he's done. There's, he's there might be a couple of bloopers, but every, but every actor has one or two bad films that they're, <laughs> they're not going to push. <laughs> yeah. Now, I met him years ago at the Tribeca Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, and at that time, I used to wear my hair differently. I used to wear my hair like a lot of wiglets on the top of my head. I, lo I love your look, Cognac. You always have such great, great looks. Thank you so much. And so when he met me, he goes, I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Al. Does it? Like <laughs> I like your hair. I was cracking up, but he was so... Those eyes will make you melt. Uh, All you have to yeah. do is look into his eyes and they <laughs> will just make you melt. Yeah. Now, is there, if you were to play, let's say, let's say you were doing a film and you auditioned and they, um, what character, what actress would you like to emulate? Like, is there a specific actress that, you know, that you saw on the, on you know on the Hollywood screen, I, I would love to play her. Huh? Um, I would have to say two actresses, Meryl Streep and also Kate Blanchett. Meryl Streep and Kate. Well, I never met Kate Blanchett, but I was in the movie The Devil Wears Prada. <gasps> you were. Yes, darling, and Miss uh, Miss uh, Streep, Meryl Streep. She told the director, you cannot have this girl in the movie because she's got white hair. <laughs> what? And I'm the only one that has to have white hair. So she, David Franco was the director. And of course, Patricia Field was the costume designer. Sure. Who I know, who I've interviewed also many, many times. I love Patricia so, Field. Yeah, so she, um, so he did, I was in the movie but you will never see me because what they did was they used me but i'm like in the background 
right. and they blur you out. So you'll never see me in the movie, but I'm in the movie. But I will tell you many years, like this happened like a year ago, I was watching um, some TV program on television. It was called uh, something teen, uh, what, made in Hollywood, teen edition. Right. And they were interviewing Patricia Field on the set of The Devil Wears Prada, and I saw myself walking in the back one. So I was like, I couldn't believe I actually saw myself. So that was that was a treat. But enough of me, we're gonna get back to you. And I wanna talk now about this latest project, Tango Shalom. Tell my audience about this film and how you found out about it and how you got cast. Tell us the whole story. Well, it, it, we actually shot it um, maybe five or six years ago, believe it or not. You know, sometimes uh, films take a longer journey and sometimes they take a yes. shorter journey. Um, initially, Claudio and uh, Jost, the, the two brothers that wrote the script and also the producers on the film, they knew of my work and they had me come in for a reading. Um, the guy that played my husband, Bob Greenberg, he actually was, for the first reading, he was reading one of the gangsters and I was reading the yoga instructor. And then they went back to the drawing board. They got in um, a great producer um, from my big fat Greek wedding. And they That's suggested- That's what they're comparing this to. Well, we have the same producer now of that film and we have a distribute an international and domestic distribution deal that they just got like a that week is. ago. And it's the same people that produced my big fat Greek wedding. So we have a, a theatrical release in August um, in movie theaters. And then it's also going to be released um, on video on demand and some of the other streaming services shortly thereafter. So this is like a dream come true. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I have, so I have, a, I have a small, I have a smaller part than some of the other actors, but it packs a punch, which is nice because it's, it's a great, um, great fun role, something that I would never see myself playing. And uh, we have wonderful cast members in that. What, getting back to the uh, the journey of, of of how I got it. So then Joseph Bologna, who is one of the stars of the film, and he he passed away a couple of years ago recently. Also of pancreatic cancer, unfortunately. What a great talent he was and actor and writer and director. He, he said, let's bring Laura Fay back because I think she could play, she's an actress, she could play one of the Hasidic mothers. I and could see you, I could see you playing that. I could see there's something about your demeanor and I think you could do, I, I, I Maybe it's because say, I've been living in New York for so long. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But I can actually see you in that part. I really can. Tell us a little bit about the synopsis of the film. What is this film about? It is about a, a rabbi, a family man rabbi uh, who has many kids and also a devoted wife who wakes up in the middle of the night one night and God tells him he must dance the tango, which is, you know, in the Hasidic community, that's just a no-no. So immediately it becomes very humorous and he well, stumbles that upon- dance is a very, very seductive sex yes, dance. Yes, yes, So I can't give any spoilers because of course we all that are attached to the film want everybody to see the film, Absolutely. but it, it embraces, um, a lot of wonderful things, um, acceptance, tolerance, love of different w walks of faith and people, different genders. You know, it's, 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 a, it's an important uh, comedic film that has a nice message. It sounds hilarious. Tell it my audience, do you know what the release date will be for this film? I know it's sometime in August, but I'm not sure of the exact date. You don't know. Date, you don't know. But it's going to be like sometime in August. We've, we've been accepted in, we, I think we've won like 20 different film festival awards. Actor well, you're, going awards. To be, you're going to be at the Long Island Film, film Festival. Yes. And I'm looking, I will be at that event. I, I go every year to that. 
So Great. I, I, I'll, I'll probably be there too because I want to be yeah. out to support like for the other screenings as well. So I hope to interview maybe the director or the producer of the film. That oh, I'll, I'll, def I'll definitely hook you up with them. They're great people. Well, it's getting an enormous, enormous amount of press, this movie. Yes. Uh, it's really em enormous. Are you working on any other projects? Because we're going to be coming to an end now with the interview. Are you working on anything oh my, else? Oh, my goodness, yes. Um, one thing you didn't mention is that um, I'm also a singer, and I have a huge... I saw that. I have a huge show coming up next Friday, July 16th, a week from this Friday, at seven o'clock at the Cutting Room, which is a fantastic venue. Uh, Chris Knopf and also Steve Walter are the owners, and they invited me to perform with my band, Laura Fay and Undercover, and we're doing a, a whole bunch of really fun cover songs, and then we're also playing with the Fops. My keyboardist of, of the band, Laura Fay and Undercover, is also in the Fops, and they do a psychedelic, psychedelic garage uh, British invasion kind of show. So it'll be a lot of fun. We start, we start at seven o'clock, doors open at six. And then I just found out I got accepted into Art Basel in December. So that's also something exciting. There you go up. with the art. Now that's a beautiful, Art Basel's beautiful. I've, I've been to that. That's, that's yes. just an amazing art show. Amazing. Yes. Yes, so you are, you are a busy girl with a lot on, you know, on your schedule, doing so many wonderful things. Um, now, I want to ask you before we, we leave, is there a website that we can go to to find out more information about you as an actress, an yes. artist, and a filmmaker? Um, yes, it's Laura, L-A-U-R-A. Faye, F-A-Y, Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, at gmail.com is my email. And for my website, laurafaylewis.com. Fabulous. Now, is there a trailer for this movie? Uh, yes. Uh, Tango Shalom? There is, yes, a, there is a trailer. It's okay. Tango Shalom, the movie.com. Because I would like to put that in this little video that we're doing sure. right now and to show my audience, you know, what a spectacular movie it is and that we all should go see it. Yes. Well, I want to thank you, Laura. You were such a delight to talk to. I wish I was there to give you a big pink champagne, <laughs> but I will blow it to you. Mwah. <laughs> I will blow it to you and thank you so much for taking your time to talking to me here at Cognex Corner. And we will be back, darlings, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. See you soon. My name is Viviana Nieves. What's yours? <laughs> the same way it is forbidden for a man to touch any woman other than one's wife. Marcia, Marcia, the children. <laughs> I had a dream. Hashem told you to dance in a tango contest? A Gentile dancing teacher wants to tango with you? In a TV contest? <laughs> you might find there is no need to touch this woman in tango. How can I achieve my goal without sacrificing my sacred beliefs? We're gonna kick him right out of the community. I got big problems. Big problems can be such big fun. How do we convince people that a young, pretty shiksa dancing partner is just a young, pretty shiksa dancing partner? She should be dressing very modestly. You cannot even touch her hair. You cannot even have eye contact with her. If I understand the communication from that dance tango, it's impossible. Why are you hoping that he sins? The 
you've got work to do. We should be praying that he doesn't sin. I never had a best friend before. Who is that? You! <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoy my interview with actress uh, Laura Faye Lewis. She is a very talented woman. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, always uh, ring the notification bell to let you know when I publish a new video. I always publish a video every Sunday or every Monday. And my videos are all about celebrity Zoom interviews and exciting fashion shopping hauls at Amazon, which is my favorite, uh, Fashion Nova, Shein, Rainbow, and so many wonderful online shopping websites. And I love you all, darlings. And just keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a ballet blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl I was brought into this world Wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle Though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry A girl can't complain I live in upscale life Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. This has been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.